what Donald Trump's ban on transgender people serving in the US military actually means. The president's tweet suggested a far more dramatic change than had been predicted. Donald Trump's tweet about banning transgender people from the army could be far more extreme even than they appear. The president said that the U.S. will not accept or allow transgender individuals to serve in any capacity in the U.S. military in a tweet. He said that allowing them to serve would lead to tremendous medical costs and disruption. The post certainly confirmed the president will seek to uphold the ban on transgender people joining the U.S. military, a ban that is currently in place. That was supposed to have been lifted by the beginning of this month. A deadline for the Defence Secretary James Mattis pushed back, but now the lift of that ban appears to have apparently blocked by Mr. Trump. More dramatically, the tweets also suggest that transgender people who currently serve in the army or those who come out or transition during their service will also be kicked out. That would be a major break with policy and a rolling back huge gains made by trans people in recent years. Transgender people have been able to serve in the US military since last year, after a decision by former Defense Secretary Ash Carter. And since last year, they have been able to receive medical care and begin the process of formally transitioning, including changing their gender identity with the Pentagon's official system. Already there are as many as 250 service members in the process of transitioning to their preferred genders, or who have been approved to formally change gender with the Pentagon's personal system, according to several defense officials. When the ban on trans people serving was lifted, Mr. Carter gave the military until the beginning of this month to develop policies that would allow people who are already identified as transgender to newly join the military if they have met physical, medical and other standards and have been stable in their identified genders for 18 months. Military chief recently announced a delay on allowing transgender people from enlisting, pushing back the decision until December. But Mr. Trump appears to have announced the result of that decision as well as potentially making far more sweeping commitments. Mr. Trump's tweet in which bro abroad, he and said transgender people would be banned from serving in any capacity, suggested he would seek to kick out people who are currently serving in any branch of the US military and in any job. That would be a major break and could lead to thousands of transgender people being removed from their service. There are between 2,500 and 7,000 transgender service members currently serving in the military, according to a RAD Compomp survey, and a further 1,500 to 4,000 in the reserves. Chad Griffin, president of the Human Rights Campaign, said that by attacking those thousands of service members of the military who are transgender, Donald Trump is undermining our military. Okay, so obviously, guys, this is the article from The Independent. Um, So I don't necessarily agree with everything they said, but it was one of the more non-partial ones I could find. So what do I think is going to happen? Well, let's actually have a look at Trump's tweets again. After consultation with my generals and military experts, please be advised that the United States government will not accept or allow transgender individuals to serve in any capacity in the U.S. military. Our military must be focused on decisive and overwhelming victory and cannot be burdened with the tremendous medical costs and disruption that transgender in the military would entail. Thank you. So yeah, it does seem like he is actually going to be banning transgender people from the actual service. However, at the end of the day, Trump does have a habit of firing from the hip, so I'm not really worried about that part too much of it. Now, obviously, there is a big debate going on at the moment as to whether or not the military should be paying for these treatments. If you want my personal opinion, and this is where we're going to get interesting, no, I do not think the military should be paying for someone to transition. 
if you want to transition from male to female then that would be something that you should have to pay for however that said i do fully support trans being in the military as long as they pass all physical mental and other services that everybody needs to pass it should be a level playing field for everybody so as long as you can do everything that everybody else can and that you're not a disadvantaged or or whatnot then no i don't see any reason why you shouldn't be in the military so yes i do support them in the military however that said i don't think we should be paying for them to transition and the reason why is because okay say we allow transitions and, and we pay for that what's happening next someone's getting a little old maybe they want botox or plastic surgery is there any difference between someone wanting trans to transition and getting plastic surgery for that or someone who wants to look 10 years younger and starts to want to uh, get plastic surgery for that where do you draw the line and all of a sudden you're getting into a very expensive exercise when you're paying thousands and thousands of dollars for people to transition and as they said there's up to anywhere from two and a half thousand people to seven thousand people who are trans in the actual services and i know people are going to dislike this video because of that but that's my personal opinion but apart from that guys like i say this is a conversation let me know exactly what your thoughts are do you think the trans should be getting in the uh, into the services and if so do you think the services should be paying for it and if so why um curious to find out we'll have a conversation in the comments section below i always love doing that so let's do that but if this video was helpful guys please smack a like if you're new to the channel welcome and subscribe and apart from that guys i'll see you in the next video